worm. That's a good one. That's fucking hilarious. A shit worm. Oh, oh, we've started. Oh, we've started. Oh, oh. Hello there. Welcome to the 47th episode of the Bee Train Podcast. Yes, we're very excited to be here because, you know, it's very exciting. We're going to do a new show and it's, you know, all the time anyway. But, um... What you just saw us doing there earlier is we were reenacting a favorite scene from a great movie called The Hidden Fortress. Yes, yes, it's a 1958 Akira Kurosawa film. Yes, it's a masterpiece that he made. And um, we are just reenacting a scene where um, two of the characters introduced a new word called, yes, a shitworm. Yes, we've heard the term shithead or calling someone a worm. But calling someone a shitworm takes it to a whole new level. So we just learned a new word. So we're very excited about that. It's... You know, that makes the film worthwhile right away, but um, the movie is considered to be a, quite a classic. Yes, we rated it a four on the Bristol Stool Chart. Oh, yes, a perfect four. Slides right through, well made, wonderful. Yes, and uh, they even said that this movie was quite influential uh, for George Lucas. It inspired him when he was making Star Wars. Yes, I completely see the influence there. Yes, very much. I see a lot of it. Um, but would you say that um, Star Wars is derivative then? No, I would not say it's derivative. It's not quite a copy. It's not a derivative. I would say it's the result of a dialectic process. Yes, yes, I concur. Dialectic process. Yes, look that up. That'll be something new to learn, too, besides shitworm. <laughs> yes, that's great. That's great. So, yes, we really enjoyed Hidden Fortress. That's a good one. And uh, Kira Kurosawa made many, many movies. Another awesome one is called The Seven Samurai, also a number four. Yes, I concur. And he's made lots of other movies. But what's great about it is... You don't have to watch all of the movies. No, you can just say you like Kurosawa films and people will be like, oh, you must be very cultured if you like Kurosawa films. And then you just change the topic and they'll be like, ooh, wow, they must be sophisticated. Yes, it's a human thing. They go for that. Yes, yes, they're very good at it. Yes. But um, we kind of needed that movie to cheer ourselves up because we've um, had a few downers. That, yes, our favorite restaurant, Hong Kong Gourmet on Renforth in Etobicoke, it closed. The bastards wouldn't renew their lease. Yes, 13 wonderful years of excellent food gone and done with. So now we have to find a new place. Yes, and then the other day, Donald Sutherland passed away. Ugh, we really loved all his work. He was fantastic. Now he's gone, so that sucks balls. So we needed something to cheer ourselves up, so we did that. But um, anyway, um, this is the month of June, and um, in case you're not aware, June is... Tourette's Syndrome Awareness Month. That's right. And we have a new cast member, Tourette's Mammoth, who's going to do a special segment where they're going to deliver a weather report. So let's go over to that now. Piss out of my ass! Wow, that was really good. Yes, they're getting better. That was very good. Yes, shit out of my, piss out of my ass really does describe the weather we're having. Yes, with all the humidity and the rain and everything. So they're doing a good job. We'll have to bring them back. Yes, I think we'll make it a regular thing. But, um... Tonight, the big event is the Stanley Cup Game 6 going to Edmonton. Edmonton is fighting to stay alive. We hope they can do it. They can bring the cup back to Canada. Oh, Connor McDavid's going to have to have a good game tonight. Oh, yes, he's definitely a good one. So Connor McDavid is definitely not a shitworm. No, Connor McDavid is definitely not a shitworm. He's a good guy. So we hope that they'll win it and stay alive and keep on going and... Um, that's it. So until next time, gang gang, piss out of my ass! Mm. This episode of the B-Train Podcast is brought to you by Big Dick Sausages. Our dicks are bigger. Metro Links. Aren't you glad you can work from home now? The Penguin Pension Trust. Representing working penguins worldwide. And viewers like you. Piss out of my-